Hi YouTube. I um, haven't put a video on in a while, so I th thought it was time. Um, showing you my latest purchase. Don't know how well you can see this, but it is a Ansco Flex twin lens reflex camera from, I'm guessing, the 50s. Uh, the exterior is done in a kind of a nifty bake like finish, kind of an olive green color. And it comes with a nice leather carrying case that um, is also in the same color, an olive green, with a nice red velvet interior. Overall, the camera seems to be in pretty good condition. It's kind of a neat kind of design. I don't know how, what you'd call that, an art deco design or something of that nature. Anyhow, um, to open the, it up, you simply pull up on the front cover, which appears to be made out of aluminum and it exposes uh, the two lenses. I believe the bottom lens is the taking lens and the upper lens is the viewing lens. Uh, this one's a little different in that I've never seen one that's got a square lens. I don't think it really affects too much. Um, the lens is surrounded with a uh, plastic and uh, sort of a, an aluminum grill type pattern on the front. On the side here, there's a mount for the flash, and I do have the flash, but good luck on finding those bulbs in this day and age. And obviously on here, here's your little window to tell you how many shots you've taken. Um, when you look at the top here, here's the, uh, the viewing screen, and my camera's not the best. Oh, there we go. As so you can sort of get an idea how bright it is, I'm look looking at my window, and it's a bright sunny day, and you can see the siding on my neighbor's house very well. Lots of snow down right now, so everything's almost too bright. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this camera. This obviously is your uh, film advance, and this would be, I'm guessing, your shutter release. And it made a nice clicking sound, so I'm guessing it is. Whoops, dropped the camera. It seems like a pretty basic camera. Um, I picked it up at a thrift store not too long ago for about five bucks. Um, here, the opening the back was very simple, just a, a single button to release it there. And here's the interior chamber. Um, the unfortunate thing about this camera is I bought it mostly for decoration. It is designed to use 620 film, which they don't really make anymore. Uh, you do have a few options. Apparently you can trim down the um, spools on 120 film or um, re-spool them, that sort of thing. Uh, I do have some um, 120 roll film in my freezer and I'm thinking that perhaps I might even run a roll through this. Uh, the viewing screen to me looks as though it's glass but when I take a peek at these lenses I'm awfully suspicious that they could be plastic. So to me this almost qualifies and it may to you as well as a toy camera. That being said, um, if you go on sites like toycamera.com, there are some people out there that are getting some pretty nifty results. And uh, I just bought one of those little kits to develop color film at home, so I, I'm gonna take a shot at that and just to see what kind of results I can get. I'm gonna wait until the snow is gone, I think, but just because I find uh, without a meter, it's pretty, and in this case, obviously, you don't have any form of adjustment on the camera. Uh, it's very easy to get everything just incredibly overexposed. Anyway, it's kind of a cool little camera. Um, let me see, I'm almost blind so I can't really see. It was made in Binghampton, New York, USA, patent pending. So anyway, it's, it's a cute little camera, great shape, and I'm sure that everything does work on it. And uh, it'd be, it'll be something to have a little bit of fun with uh, later on. Have a good day. Bye-bye.